Hey there, it's Jacqueline from homeworksetcdesigns.com. I am here to show you how easy it is to create a PayPal button for your Facebook event pages without having an e-commerce site. So to get started here, I've already logged into PayPal. And uh, first thing I wanna make sure that you have a business account. So do make sure that your PayPal account is set up for business. And to do that, you can just clarify that your account is set up and that you've confirmed your email and you've linked your bank accounts. Once that is all set up, go to tools and then go all the way down to all tools. And you're going to see that there's a whole bunch of different options for you for your business. Uh, invoicing if you want to send a customer a specific invoice for perhaps a custom order. And let's see, we're not going to worry about too much of these. We're going to look for PayPal button. So let's double click that. And as you can see, I created a few buttons. Um, create new button. That's what we're looking for. So let's create new button. And just leave that setting there as shopping cart. So first you're going to choose what that is. You're going to say that's your DIY workshop for say your fall, let's call it, I don't know, September 12th at 6.30 workshop. And you're gonna set your price at $45 and you can change your currency here if you need to. It's just drop down menus. And we're not going to worry about this add to cart and what that looks like because we're actually just going to be using the link. We're not going to be creating a button. And if you have a shipping that goes along with that, say you want to sell a kit, you can do that as well. Or if you want to add taxes, which you want to make sure that your bookkeeping is done correctly. So do that. And your merchant ID. Now this is, I always use my primary and you can choose where you want that invoice or that notification to be sent to once someone has registered. So make sure it's the correct email address. And if it's for a workshop in particular, you want to make sure that you're tracking your inventory so that you don't oversell too many. So you're going to click track inventory. And you can give it an ID number, perhaps just the date or September. Let's see, what did I call that? September 12th. Step two, so we'll call it September 12th. And you want a maximum sell out 12 seats. And the price, you've already identified that, so it's not gonna let you click on that. And you want to keep this at no, don't let customers buy the item when you are sold out. And you want that to take them to your website or Facebook page. You decide where that is. So once the item is sold out, it redirects them. And that would be an awesome call to action, right, that I've been talking about. So you want to make sure that they go somewhere for them to either sign up to be on your newsletter or a Facebook page to like you there. We don't need to worry about custom features. Um, that would be specifically if you're creating a button or a customization where you want them to add specific instructions. Uh, perhaps it's a choice, a stencil choice or an option there. Um, but really we're just here to keep it simple. So after you have created your steps one and two, and you've included all of that information, then you click create button. Oh, something was invalid. So it looks like I was not able to put the time stock. Oh, that's why, look at that. So quantity in stock should be 12. Now I want to be alerted say when there is three left. So I'm aware that there's only three seats left and that's a great notification to be able to post on Facebook as well for a workshop that you only have three seats left and we're going to now create button and there you go. 
website. So this is what your button would look like if you wanted to embed this button on say a WordPress site or if you have Wix or Squarespace, you can do that. Uh, and this is what I love is that there's the email option and now you just highlight this and I copy it, control C. You can also select there. And now I'm gonna to head to my Facebook, my Facebook page, and here we are at Homeworks, etc. And I now have created, these are all of my upcoming events. So let's go to my DIY palette sign. And we're gonna open that up. Now, a tip for you here too is, we're going to edit edit and scroll down through the description. I always love to add my registration link in my description. We're going to call this an art class. And then I also add it on my ticket URL. So I add it in two locations so that it's easy, 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 whether you're on a mobile or a desktop to be able to register online. So let's, we'll just cancel that for me. Anyways, I hope you found this useful using a PayPal button. If you do not have an e-commerce site so that you can start automating your workshops and letting people register online while you're sleeping. If you found this useful, feel free to follow us on YouTube and subscribe to our channel. Every Thursday, we're gonna be posting new tips for DIY workshop entrepreneurs who are looking to grow their businesses through workshops. So have an awesome day and we'll see you next Thursday.